on first down. Barton. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This taken in by Kincaid. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Allen. They shakes him off. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Allen now on third and goal. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bills have moved out in front. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free and his guy made a nice catch just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game play action now it's Allen got his man complete over the middle it's Ingram and he's taken down but not before reaching the 10 yard line That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here's Allen on first and 10. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Raiders will take over here just shy of the 30. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone, possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half, and now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off the work of the other, so they'll want to come out, establish some rhythm, and go down and take the lead. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs, and he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. And while all of that was going on with the sack, it appears, unfortunately, we have an injured player. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Here's A.J. Cole now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. This play to move the sticks. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. Throwing is Allen on third. Over the middle complete. That's Ingram. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. 
Uh, here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Two yards on the pickup there, and that will bring up second down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll set up to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And this one's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on that. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's Allen to throw it. And a throw there going to be incomplete. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. And that is no good. I oh, hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in, and this will stay a four-point game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Oh, 
Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll set up a throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll look to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll look to throw now on first down. Now, quick throw there is incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Back to throw again. That's caught by Myers. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Jacoby Myers, 40 yards. And the Raiders have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now 17. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run him back out there in a tough situation. But let's face it, they may have to. So right now, the head coach is talking to the offense coordinator and saying, call this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's try to take the field goal out of it. A gain of 32 that time. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. On first down, Allen. Phillips has it running the out route. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Mills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Up the middle they go. Barton. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Finding knocks there, complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. He'll try again. And he's not going too far. In fact, stopped dead in his tracks at the three. A big one coming in this divisional round playoff, third and goal. Throwing now is Allen. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well, cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field, but sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given, and it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Well, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. 
but incompletions on their first two throws has him huddling up and trying to figure out a... And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Here's A.J. Coldell as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Let's take it inside his own 40. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now out come the Bills. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. And they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ingram. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Allen now looks to throw. Offense is moving it a little bit. Had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now Allen throwing on second down. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. to the air. Allen. That is caught. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Again, they'll throw with Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. From 10 yards out. And the Bills have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, he was on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The first throw here for the backup, Garoppolo. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And now the rookie's free. He's to the 15, and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. A big play there. 48 yards.
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And this certainly a key moment in this game, trailing by three, fourth quarter with a spot in the championship game next weekend on the line. Throwing on first down is Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders is shaken up on that one. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Here's Allen. And the Raiders have got him. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Allen. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. That's pulled in at the 32. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead and the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. Jacobs with a carry on first down as he'll get about three there before he's taken down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. He won't find a ton of space following the display of power as he's down just inside the 45. To throw is Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he's going to have a Raider first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script here. And they will take a knee here. Second and 11. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. A pause here for an injured player, and this would be an important one. Von Miller in some discomfort on the field right now. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. They go to a knee here, and with that, it's on to the AFC title game. Well, on both sides, you come into this game with so much hope, so much buildup, looking to move on. One side gets to do that, but let's not forget the others. Tough pill to swallow. It really is because it's so much hard work, effort. You mentioned the hope to go on and maybe play in the big game itself. Well, let's see how they handle it, though. The offseason is going to be a long one for them because it's going to eat their heart out watching other people continue to play. 
but can they come back the next year and find it in them to make that same run again and maybe find a way to advance? So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.